That's too loud. Turn yourself down. I can't. Oh my yes, God! You can. Oh God! I'm gonna hit the brown note. Womp up the jams. Womp it up. Did you lose bowel control? Cause I'm screaming in your earbuds, but I don't give a shit. Cause it's Marissa Wampler living out loud and hashtag authentic. Cause I'm gonna bring you these sweet jams. I want to wipe these jams. Oh, harmony. Yeah. Well, you know I lost. Keep going. No, I just like got. Oh. No, now, okay, you just did it without thinking. By accident. And then I've been watching a lot of The Voice, okay? And (laughs) Kelly Clarkson's big note for everybody is you got to get out of your head. Mm. You have the gift. Get out of your own goddamn way, okay? Did you see that performance? She did that one dedicated to her daughter, right? Her baby daughter. Did you just show me that? Kelly Clarkson? She broke down crying. She always breaks down crying. That's, Is she that's, the one who did? That's because of you. I never strayed yes. too far. Yeah. Well, she just did another one about like, yes. "Fuck you, I'm going to be a good mom," and then she broke down in the middle of it because yes. she's living some hashtag authentic shit right there. That's right. And people are eating that shit up. She's going to have a talk show. Which, Is she really? Which sign me up. I will park myself outside of a Radio Shack to watch that shit. Whoa. And you know who she could use is a psychic. Oh. Uh-huh. Right? That could be a nice little entry for you to the greater stage, Marinetta Papa Himona. Yeah, so hi, everybody. Introduce, we have a guest. She is one billion years old. <laughs> yeah. I went to high school with Dracula. Ah, good one. <laughs> I joke, seriously, I joke. maybe she does. We don't know. I'm joking, maybe. This is... This is, so first of all, let me tell you what you're listening to, and then I'm going to introduce you to our guest. I just did a little tease. That's what she said. Um, My name is Marissa Wampler. I don't know how old I am, but I am currently enrolled as a senior in Marina Del Rey Public High School. Mm -hmm. I am part of the STARS program, a.k.a. the SPAS Academy, a special learning program uh, d- headed up by Charlotte Shardog Listler, yeah. who is my uh, alternative teacher. Uh, uh, what do you mean by that, alternative teacher? I mean, alter- so you could have a, a real teacher and instead I have you. Um, I don't like that. Okay. I, you, I am a real teacher. You use al- I use alternative, alternative educational methods. methods. That's right. In like, order to educate you because the public education system as is has failed you. That's right. Over and over again. Over and I'm I'm outside the system, and you're in the system. We're just doing it different. We're doing it different. We're living it hashtag That's authentic. Right. Some of your techniques include cocooning, uh, garbage can runs, mm-hmm. uh, sniper training, um, survival skills. We go on the lam for B- a couple years. B a barakasing me to Life various skills, locations. Street skills. Uh, street skills. Yeah. Um, and I am, this is my senior podcast project. I'm interviewing people from the environs in and out of the school to get a pulse on what is happening in Marina Del Rey. Mm -hmm. And today's guest is very special. Um, this is somebody we have passed by her storefront. I don't know how many times we've never Mm -hmm. gone in last weekend. You've been in? Oh yeah. All the time. Oh yes. Oh yes. Really? I go in. I didn't think that you subscribe to the dark arts. I wouldn't call it the um, dark arts. Excuse me. No, I don't mean that. I don't mean that. I mean, I mean that this is dabbling, you know, in no, the other no. realm. Not with someone who knows what they're doing. You're in safe hands. Capable. Thank you. Safe hands. It's not. It's, it's a misconception that we have a dark arts. I uh, read your palm. I take your blood. I snip your mm-hmm. hair, and you on your way. And that mm-hmm. was surprising that you took a vial of my blood. Because you didn't I even just notice, thought, right? I didn't because she notice. also is a trained nurse, and That's so right. she knows how a to get registered nurse. I moonlight how to, how to get blood out of your body without you ever even knowing that it was gone. What I was surprised by as well is that you had functioning legs because you sit in that storefront in the sun and the sun beats down on you, which is why I think Mm -hmm. your face looks like the pages of a Mm -hmm. leather bound book. I feel like we've talked about this before. I think we might have. Mm -hmm. Um, But you keep the shawl on the legs. You keep a shawl on the legs. No sunburn. And I just assumed. Yeah, so I'd love to see if her yes, legs yes. Well, look like walked, a twenty-year-old. She walked legs, in here. I walked in here. Uh, my legs are scientifically uh, cannot be categorized as legs. 
Huh. Um, they're technically stilts, uh, the doctors tell me. Are they made of wood? No, they have just become so withered away that the muscle tissue no longer classifies them as legs. Got it. I didn't yeah. realize it That's was muscle. That's why she has that cane. That That's why she's us. hobbling on that cane. Okay, yeah. Yes. Just the one cane. Industrial Just, strength cane. And you're using those support hose because that's important to keep uh, those blood clots from happening. It right. really uh, holds in uh, the sex, girlfriend. You know what holds I mean. Holds in the sex? The sags. Oh, I thought you said I thought holds. you said sax. I, you know, there's something about your accent that makes me feel safe. Oh, I know thank this you. accent maybe isn't one that would technically be or usually make people feel safe but it it i think it's because i spent so much time in the middle east mm. that and i did feel safe well also and i'm hoping this doesn't bring up um some feelings for you about your broken uh engagement to kareem who you know uh, i don't know if you knew him but he owned the 7-eleven and he had that other family we didn't know about no i know kareem has he mm -hmm. been in to see you had he, had he been in to see he, you? Uh, he did come in to see me mm -hmm. uh, after he crashed his uh, Mercedes Benz. Mm -hmm. Oh. He wanted me to... He upgraded. <laughs> he wanted me to know if uh, possibly the car could heal. So I take his palm. The car? Uh -huh. Yes, he was very concerned about the car. So he didn't bring up Listler at all? I mean, because they had had a very, very on again, off again, and and he went back to the mm -hmm. Middle East, and mm -hmm. then and she went to go find him, and then... Oh, he, you were brought up. He, uh, But he asked me to do an incantation uh -huh. to cast your spirit away. Uh-huh. That makes sense. Oh. <sighs> That's a very I, hurtful I, this thing. This is going to sound, yeah, it sounds hurtful, is, but I think he was coming from a place of love. Of protection. Yeah. Because yeah. he knew that he was, he had to, he was a car, he was a personal, a human car crash is what he was. Yes. He was dangerous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He was absolutely dangerous. Mm. <laughs> he was a human car crash. That's mm. right. I, I should crashing also into himself or, or you. Yeah. I mean, he, he left you a, a wreckage, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Well, that's just, a Kelly Clarkson song right there. It was a it was a ghost situation, is what it was. Yeah, because I didn't know what had happened. He left with no explanation, and then I find out he's got another family. You know, I'm dating now. I'm dating of other you're people. Out there. You're on Tinder, all, all over the place. You know, but. I, you know, I, I read a lot of poems, mm -hmm. and you've come in to see me many times. You yeah. you knew me before I had to change my name. You yes, know, I used yes. to be called Marinetta, the crazy gypsy genie. Yes. Right, and, and that, it's not the time for that type of thing it's not now. The, I was told it is no longer the time it's for that. It's no longer the time. Mm -hmm. Now, it must be hard to read Lister's poems, considering she has had her fingerprints Just wiped. Just fingerprints. You okay. don't read oh, prints, so you read the exactly. lines on the palm. And, and is it true that I have... The most fractured but longest lifeline you've ever seen. It's true. What does that mean? That, that you've had a lot of attempts on your life but have survived? She has lived many lives in this one life. Uh -huh. That's for sure. And like a phoenix, she has experienced many deaths but rises again uh -huh. every That's time. The truth. Uh -huh. Yeah, because when I look at my life, uh, the whole the when I look at the full tilt picture of it, right? Because yeah. I think sometimes we could focus on that one thing that we're supposed to do for our entire lives, yeah. right? And we work towards it, right? And then we get there, and then we still feel like something's missing, mm. right? Are you feeling that now with me as your only student? Interesting that you would make this about yourself in the uh, middle of uh, my life's journey story. I am asking. Because you're staring at me when you're saying that you think something's missing, and I'm I just want to know I'm insecure. And looking at the two people who are listening to me, that's called conversation. I'm insecure. Oh, you know. Have you worked with Cardi B? Because you know she graduated from Marina Del Rey. I did. She, I could. I had a really hard time getting her to stand still. I she bet. was always going, yeah, "Look at goes, my tongue," <laughs> and yeah. I said, "Calm down, Miss." Uh, yeah. So I didn't get a great read, read on, on her. her. You didn't yes. see the stardom coming. Anyway, go back. You were saying, I was saying, I think, whatever you're in, whatever life's period that you're in currently. That is the journey. And then you can 
try different things. It's never too late. Does that make mm-hmm. sense? Mm-hmm. I think if you, uh, some people say, oh, it's too late for me to start this dream. Mm-hmm. Never, never. No, never. It's never too late. It's not true. Are you going to start something new and leave here? Because I have a lot of abandonment issues. I'm not going to tell you. You know what? I am trying to talk about myself. I understand. I'm just saying you're making moment. me very nervous. It's like, what has Marionetta t- told you? Like, are you, you know, just She's told me, me lots up. of things. I take it. I take what I want and I leave what I don't want. She's going to win. So you think you're smarter than a fifth grader. Wait, she's going to. Perf- that show is not still on, is it? It will be rebooted. No! Yes. Don't bring that evil into the yes. world. Two years from today, no, a reboot. Yes. No! Right after the Friends reboot is greenlit. Oh, I yes. No. Is that starring the original cast? No, new sexy teenagers. Oh, okay. Who are under 18 years of age, but uh, Hollywood don't care. And who is going to be the new host? It's not going to be... Uh, no, it will be new host. It will be um oh, I'm seeing her now. I'm seeing her now. Rosie oh. O'Donnell? It's no. a woman. No, Kristen Chenoweth in a wheelchair. No. Whoa, what happened to her legs? <laughs> oh, they are gone, girl. Oh no! Oh, we're not putting that evil out there. No, sir. I'm just telling you what just I telling see. Telling you what she's got great pins. I don't want to see that. Listen, she does have great hey, pants. Hey, is it true that Les Moonves used to call you f- before the upfronts to get your opinions on what should be on the fall season? Now that he's retiring, yeah. I'm allowed to say yes. I don't know if it's, I'd call it retiring. <laughs> More like put what? in. A, it's like when you have a fox hunt and the fox gets in that hole and then everyone gathers to watch the hounds rip oh. it to shreds. Oh, I didn't read That's the what news. I'd like to watch that, happen. But he called me and said, I'm retiring, don't listen to anything in the box. news, I'm retiring, I'm retiring. No. No, 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 no. No, no, Things That is didn't a go weird well. call I got. Yeah, huh. no. But it's true, you would consult him on the fall slate. That's right. Wow, you predicted Big Bang Theory? Yes. Wow. Yes, when everyone else said, ew, what? It's not funny. And I said, people gonna like it. And they did. Wow. Well, I can't wait for you to read because you're you're going to be reading our palms Mm -hmm. here. And also we brought, we've been drinking uh, gallons of tea. You're going to read the leaves. Oh, I thought Mm -hmm. he was going to read our urine. I bought a couple uh, empty marinara jars of pee if you need to also read No, I was getting you to drink the tea so we could look at the bottom of your cup. So we'll just use your cup. You didn't need to then collect your urine, although I will sell that to LaRange. LaRange? LaRange. Who's LaRange? He's a friend of mine. I don't, why does he want my pee? I don't ask questions. I just no, take No, he can't have it. Each can, 35 nope. cents. That's not a lot of money. Well, what does pee go for on the black market? It shouldn't go for anything because you web. don't need it. You don't need it. What, you don't need it. Sure. Who's LaRange? What new, nationality is he? I could use some pee. French. Why? He's uh, from the from the French Antilles. Whatever. It's an You're African not man. It. You're not getting from it. From the French Antilles. I could French. use some pee. Why, Marinetta? Uh, okay, so I don't particularly participate in the dark arts, right? Right. But I'm friends with some dark art people. Right. Are there a lot in Marina Del Rey? Yes. There is a sorceress. No. My friend Mm -hmm. is a sorceress. Mm -hmm. Somaya. Wait, Somaya, the one who works at Hot Topics? Yeah, you know Somaya? The West Side Ball? Yes, Somaya, the sorceress. I thought she just had a lot of bad work done, but is she like one billion years old, but really like parading around like she's 40? Oh, come on. She's only 91. She's not a billion. Wow, she looks good. (laughs) Bitch looks good rocking those crop tops. Yeah. Yeah, she sells, uh, she uses pee for many of her spells if you need Mm. someone to Anybody's pee? Ooh, I'd like to do a spell. As you know, virgin pee is like way stronger, but like. I have that. That's, oh. that's what I got. Wait, could she do a spell? Like, I would love to cast a spell on gutters just to make his dick don't work anymore. If he's not going to be with me and I want him to be with anybody. Yeah, as you know, that's you know, healthy. spells spells are kind of like, you know, um, condoms. They're like 98.8% effective. They don't always work. Yes, but there's a strong chance it will work just as uh, long as you know I'm that. I'm willing one. to do But that. also, the. 
the truth about spells is if you cast a negative thing on someone, that will come back to you in another way. Really? That negativity will come back on you. Worth it's it. True. Worth it. It's true. Yeah, you just got to always be bouncing back and forth. For me, I'm always, every time I cast a negative spell, I do a nice thing and I keep that you know, back and forth. Like tennis. Like evil tennis. Evil tennis. I'm ready to play. Um, all right, Gutters, if you're listening, He's not. enjoy your dong because it ain't going to be in... <laughs> In use for You're much longer. See the sorceress. One hundred percent. Also, I gotta get some of these crop tubes. What? These crop tubes. <laughs> I didn't think hot topics was even a like a real store anymore. Hot topics? Yeah. yeah, that's what this segment is based on. It's unofficially sponsored by Hot Topics. T O P I. I know that, but I thought it was like a throwback to the two thousand. Absolutely, still in function at the Westside Mall. But you that's know, like that saying place, like, the this West sex I- segment is sponsored by. Uh, f- what? Five seven nine, <laughs> or contemporary casuals. Yeah. Hot topics. Google it, bitch. Hot topics is still alive and well. Through. Ever seen the catalog for something called soft surroundings? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But let me it ask looks you really this: comfortable. How the? Why are we getting those catalogs? What list have we gotten on? And you don't even have a fucking address. So I what's didn't happening? say I was getting them. I said, have you seen them? I'm I th- getting them. At your apartment? Yes. Well, that's for Diane. You think? She hasn't yeah. been home in uh, two years. Those catalogs. I'd like to know if my mother's coming. ever coming home. Oh. And if my mother See? is really my mother. Okay, so make your list of questions, which I asked you to do last night before okay. this interview, but we knew who the guest was going to be. Break. Gutters dong. Mm. No, no, no. Don't say it out loud. We're going to talk about it in a second. Mm-hmm. Who's my mommy? All right. Anything else we want to cover in Hot Topics before we go to a break? Uh... By the way, hot, uh, that's a real thing, Hot Topics. It is they, a real thing. They, they're selling a lot of like drag queen merchandise nowadays. Mm, they're really yeah. like I would have thought into that Justice sub-culture. had that market on that or limited to. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know. I think they're just like really desperate to get into that uh, subculture because yeah. there's a lot of people who are like, and I, I'm, I'm in, myself included, I love drag stuff. I'm yeah. a you big... love, but you're a woman. You love dressing like a drag woman? Oh, yeah. I, I fancy myself a little bit of a bio queen. What's that? Oh, it's like a phenomenon where a biological woman, mm. she try to dress in a way that is drag queen-like. Okay. They call it a bio queen. By, uh, meaning biologically you're a woman. That's right. But Be- you're a queen. But you're dressing heard like of a that. queen. Yes, because you're partaking in gender expression in a way that is not exactly yourself. Uh, okay. Okay. You know Candace be happening? The, the Marina Del Rey's most famous drag queen? Oh, of course I know Candace. She's great, right? Does she come to see you? Oh, yeah, she comes to see me a lot, and I buy her. Um, she makes custom lashes for yes, me. Yes, lashes. All yes. right, that's why I thought that was yours. Oh. I thought Greek people have beautiful lashes. but These four inches? Yeah, no way. They, they're like butterfly uh, antennas. Thank um, you. I want to get into, remind me when we get into your interview, I want to ask you what it's like to hold all the secrets of the people in Marina Del Rey because you know the inner workings of everybody. Does that get tiring or draining to you? Okay, write it down, though, because that's a question you don't say. You Mm -hmm. know what? Barbara Walters says, hey, you know what? Later, I'm going to ask you this really great question. You know what Barbara Walters says? Get me a brisket on Barbara Walters. (laughs) Get me a biscuit? Brisket. She can get whatever she wants because she's Barbara Walters. Yeah, a Speaking singular brisket. Do you guys ever go to a Lane Bryant Mini? No, I've never been. It's for a curvy woman like mini? me. But Ooh. well, like the re- the sizes at the Lane Bryant normal. Um, oh, you're saying Lane L A N E? You give an E to a lot of things. A Lane. Lane. I thought you were saying a Lane Bryant. No, Lane, Lane Bryant. Bryant. You know, I should check that out because I am curvy. Oh, yeah, I was. I without like putting you on the spot. I wanted to say it's not <laughs> like, but the normal size is Lane Bryant. Too tall. Yeah, They're too oh, tall. I see. I see. So this is a Lane Bryant mini for the from, big girl that are sh- also tiny. Yes, yes. yes. The shorter. The yes. Short, it's like petites. Yes, yeah, petites. Like the petite section of Talbot's, another catalog that won't stop coming to your house. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a break. When we come back, more with Marina Del Rey's resident psychic, Marinetta Papachimona. And if people have uh, any questions for her, we're going to answer those in 
Listler's love lockdown. In the meantime, during the break, I'm going to have Marinetta cast a couple spells on some people that have pissed me off. We'll find out who those people are when we come back after the break. Womp it up. What's up, Wompsters? This week, Earwolf is transforming into something scary. Fearwolf is coming to haunt your precious ears with spooky episodes and hair-raising special guests on all your favorite shows. On Unspooled, Paul Shear and Amy Nicholson break down one of the most influential horror films of all time. Psycho. On Who Charted? Or should it be Boo Charted? Howard Kramer and guest Tiff Stevenson count down the top Halloween songs and movies. Off Book is serving up a Halloween musical spooktacular. And the Andy Daly Podcast Pilot Project is already a scary name to say, but this week's episode takes you through a walking tour of haunted Scotland with a cast of frightening characters with even more frightening scootish accents. Head over to Stitcher Premium or should I say Stitcher Screamium to get some couples costume tips from Sean and Hayes on the Hollywood Handbook Pro version. Don't miss your favorite Fear Wolf shows this week on Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen. Welcome back. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this? Steely Dan? It's not Steely Dan. What is it? A Street Gilberto? So I, I do believe it's Brazilian, yeah. It's Portuguesa. Yeah, you've been all over the world now, right? Oh, yes, of course. You're so tired of it. You're so happy oh. to be stationary. <laughs> if only I could die. Really? You 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 would like to die? Yes, it's been so long. I'm guys. I went to high school with Dracula. Come you on, were being serious. I'm being serious. You grew up in Transylvania. Yes, I'm. I'm from Macedonia. I don't. I didn't know. I didn't know he was a real person. Mm. Yes. He wait, was. have oh, you been? Very, wait a very, second. For so sure. you've been alive for how oh many years? God. Hundreds. I let me think. A long time. I went to. Because I was in elementary school with Joan. Joan who? Uh, you, uh, do you know a Joan of Arc? Is this a bit? <laughs> I'm afraid not. Now, what can I ask you? What what is preventing well, she left school you? at fourteen because she had to lead that French Revolution, right? The French Revolution or something? Exactly. Yeah, you she was young. You should have seen how sad her science projects were. Always volcanoes, volcanoes, See, that's volcanoes. another thing. And then she got burned thing. up. Education has been the same for so long, guys. You know, science projects, like we're just, we just can't stop doing science projects. Mm. Let's choose another way to educate our children oh, yeah. in the field, you know? Yeah. Let's see, what what does it feel like to be burned alive, you know? Well, she would know. It happened to well, her. Well, she wouldn't know because she's dead. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me ask you this, Marineta. You got it. Why why aren't you dead? What is it that's keeping I'm you alive? I'm having to swallow a lot of things right that's now. That's what she said. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, fat you penis. You walk right into it. Whoa. You open the door and just walk right in. It doesn't you know feel good when someone one? does it to okay. you. Doesn't. Who? You know who's a thick one? Who? Um... Although it isn't the thickness that matters. If it's thick and short, you're still fucked. You At know, least you feel something, though. I guess, you know? but if it's short like a if Coke can, like, like a, a mini little, Coke can. Like, mm. if, you, if you're if you in the middle of it and you're like, I didn't feel yes. nothing, oh. then that's a real, problem. Sure. Okay? So if it's long, if it can hit a spot, if it's fat, right. and it roughs up the sides going Ooh, in. That it, doesn't you know feel what it is? good. You need to have Sometimes a taper. it does. It must have a taper to it. You don't want a tuna can, a star kiss tuna can going in there. It's then one way. No, no, no. I'm th- I'm talking about a fucking chode, but then it has a nice, like a like a jet stream taper at the top, like Leif Erikson. Sure, oh, sure. boy. Wait, Leif Erikson the Viking? <laughs> yes, he have a nice chubster, baby. I don't. 
I honestly, I don't know if this woman's crazy or if she's telling the truth. If she That's is, fine. If you think I'm crazy, I am not offended. She can hear you. I Can I she? I can hear you. It's fine. It's Let's fine. find out why she's still alive. But that's true. Why are you being forced? To, so like Do you, you have unfinished business. Have you made a deal with the devil? How are you still alive? You know, I think I come from a very cursed <clears throat> place. You know, before I moved to Marina del Rey, I grew up in Macedonia in a village mm-hmm. called Spofos. And Spufos, that's what she said no. got, happened on her. <laughs> no. No. What? It was too he soon. Did. What? So when I did it, he spoofed all over me. It was too soon when I, I did it. I needed a wet rag. <laughs> so I grew up in this village. I guess it's technically a cave. Uh, mm. 100, about 200 uh, People, meters below oh, sea level. Okay. People that, all lived in the cave? How yes. many you people all were down there? One, there were bats there. Okay. Um, like, but this- it was wonderful. Freezing cold little village. And you so cold you could leave your meats out and they stay fresh. And what meats were you getting at the, when you were going That's up to question? the surface and killing the meats? Well, I'm just yes, I, I, context clues. Every, Watch oh, and learn. I have such memories of going to the surface every Sunday. Okay. Once a week we went to the surface to get some meats? Yes. Dragging down a goat or a child. Okay. Sounds like you were, uh-oh, uh-huh. eating kids. Yeah. Ugh. <sighs> What? Have you, are you undead? Oh, okay, okay, cultural. Have you heard of a little thing called cultural relativity? It's, co- it's basically I a sociological have... idea that says, hey, just because it's weird to you doesn't mean it's weird to That's everyone. That's right. That's right. You're right. I need to be open. That's what you always tell me, Liz. So you are the undead. You're living basically in a 200 foot below the ground grave reaching up every once in a while grabbing a little kid's ankle pulling him down yes. then you guys and your cave people you all feast on it yes and we this sacrifice. is like that movie descent right mm, yes the cave people and then the spunkers go that down was based on my cave no this will not last. But we're not blind. It, That's so stupid. We're not were blind. blind in that movie. Yeah, she did doesn't you, know the specifics of the descent. How did they the get descent, down and there? And we'll have nightmares about How it. did they Thank get you down very there? Much. How did they get down there in who, the descent? Who? The descent people. The, the, the were they the delayed, originally the original humans? Cave, cave dwellers? Yes. Were they original humans that had like bread I mean, under there? No. Got trapped under there? They Let's are, find out. Uh, they come, the true story is we are the ancestors of the first losers of the Olympics. So thousands of years they ago. They used to put people underground? Y- yes, the losers of yeah, the Olympics. Like were, a gladiator situation. Yes, they were banished from Mount Olympus to Macedonia and they said, go in the cave, you loser. And so we have to go in the cave. My ancestors uh, were there. Um, and we create a beautiful village 200 meters below sea level. Okay. And then eventually became undead. Yeah, we sacrificed the bones to our true lord, uh, King Payman. I don't even know who we'd call about something like this. What do you mean? What are you going to do? Call the police and say, oh, we know. There's are you a- saying who you going to call? Go ghost, don't say a ghost. <laughs> she's Why gonna, aren't you more upset there, by this? There's something ghost. weird in your neighborhood. Why aren't you more upset by this? Who are you gonna call? <sighs> say it. It's funny. No, I don't there's think it's funny. Bad and it Come don't on, look good. Funny. Say it. I like it. Who are you gonna call, Marissa? Okay. I am afraid of no ghosts. I did. Oh yeah, she said. I don't think it's funny to have somebody on who's eating a kid. Well, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Ooh. I love that song so much. Okay, okay. Ba-da-da-da-da. Ba-da-da-da. Okay, so you are, how old do you think, roughly? I mean, I guess. First Olympics. I don't even know <laughs> when that, that was. BC? BC for sure. Yes, for sure. Here's, here's a theory I want to I wanna posit. posit. Okay. Uh, great, great vocabulary. I don't know where it came from. Uh you were in the original Olympics, probably sacrificed mm-hmm. to a lord of some sort, uh, yes. to the gods, gods. of yes. Mount Zeus Olympus. Or something. I really blew the discus. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. So as a, and probably you were pretty young to be competing and probably you were of maybe a slave cast anyway. Absolutely. Right. Yes. To be uh, performing for these, uh, you know, the higher ups mm-hmm. and you lost mm-hmm. and you were sacrificed mm-hmm. and then you were buried underground yes. with a bunch of your other yeah, people. Buried. Okay. But because you were sacrificed, you were given a second life. Yes. An underworld life, because yes. of course there were there was Hades back then, right? Oh, so, I yes. mean, you, some people argue he still exists. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I yeah I yeah. You know him? Yes, I know Hades. And what's he? He's a bad guy, right? He's bad, but he throw a great party. I bet a lot of people fucking each other, putting things in different holes. Was right? it like? Is it like True Blood? Yeah, like when they all get That's the right. black eyes. I didn't watch it, True what? Blood. What happened in that? Well, I can't. Get the into it. Eyes. Why they get black eyes? Black. Let me just enunciate. Black eyes. Yes. Okay? They had I black eyes. I understand what eyes. you were saying, but why? I want to make sure our listeners but do. But why? Because uh, they were turning evil? Yeah, they were possessed. Oh. And so you would come upon a bacchanalia-like party where they're like, where like one all guy's the got church horns ladies from the week sex. before. Nobody's got horns. No. It's just like the churchgoers. Are all fucking are each all other? Are all fucking each other yes. in like, you know, like raunchy ways Could on a Could we find a clip bill. of that? No way am I going to show that no. to you. That's another thing that movies always get wrong. It's like, p- like, possession is not like forever. It's like catching a cold. Mm. I see seven mm. to ten days. Yes. And maybe you need antibiotics. Right. Maybe you need a, like a sorcerer to help you out with it. Maybe or it goes away on Or a bunch of human own. virgin urine. Right. You know? Or like you like play it cool for a day and sometimes it goes away immediately. Wow. You stay lay low, lay night. low. Lay low and they Can might you go turn away. your powers off and on like your the connection to the other side, the mystical uh is it like when you read a poem, are you channeling something? Do you have like voices coming to you at all times? Uh no, yeah, I have to want to read someone's poem okay. to hear things. Okay. Yeah, I don't I can't. I'm like not, when I'm you're... not like that phony Long Island medium. Uh, no, uh-oh. she's real. She's phony. No, really? She's kind of bullshit. Oh, fuck. I yeah. Teresa thought Caputo? it. I don't think Teresa, so. Teresa, yeah, yes, she's You don't think so? No. I think she's real. Don't you find her like Tell me. a little suspicious in what way? Like, okay, here's my thing. Here's one I mean, big because thing. I'm not a mystic, so I don't have the inside knowledge. I don't know what no. I'm looking for. <clears throat> But when I see her, I do see at least she's giving people a real true service. I do like that she makes people feel nice about themselves. But have you ever seen a true mystic be that polished? Polished? Yeah, she's all polished and wearing makeup. Well, I mean, she's from Long Island. Well, you look literally like the undead. I mean, this is all making sense to me now. Look at my hair. Your flesh is like... Did, ah! Oh no! A bit of scalp came off there. Yeah. Yes, I am the real deal. But I am desiccated. I, I am know. holding on but, by a sliver. But if you've been living for this many years, why can't they keep you in the body of a hot person? Like, why couldn't Sofia Vergara kind of body mm. continue for you? Why did you have to age? I've taken over a few bodies. This is number four. Well, this one was a poor choice. It's like oh, when you buy a come lemon. On. It's like That's when you go to a used very car. judgy. I'm not. Somebody else. Nobody's body. beautiful is ugly, okay? I'm saying she's tough on the eyes and her scalp is falling apart. Well, so she, she just pulled her hair out, and that was news we could use. This used to be, I'm using Greta Garbo's body. Oh, oh. now see, at one time, so I had a, a good base. But you're not yeah. treating it well because I'm always seeing you well, eating those body bugles. Well, is past its due date. Have you seen her I put, she puts bugles. bugles on every finger like they're nails and then hunch, eats them one act a hunch, a hunch, a hunch, a hunch. That's now not they make... just hers, though. Lots of people did that and lots of kids back when bugles were a thing but i eat like a lot of bugles you know they make salted caramel now no! yeah oh mommy props to you mama props to i heard i learned that from watching my drag queen shows that doesn't sound like it fa- sounds like you've mixed a couple phrases props <laughs> to you mama yes yeah, that's a thing they say who is it? One of those drag queens. Oh, God, what's her name? RuPaul? No, who's that? Oh. Jinx Monsoon? I, no, bet RuPaul, who's that? I bet RuPaul is undead because he hasn't aged in, in years. <gasps> Don't make me talk about the client. RuPaul is a client? You can't make me 
talk yes, about the client. I knew it. I knew it. I knew mm-hmm. it. To the client mm-hmm. list. This should be it. This would be a great reality show to pitch. No, I don't want to be a phony. I don't want to be on TV like Teresa. Oh, you want to do a mar- um, medium? We could do Marina like a Del we Rey could medium. Do, yeah, but we could do it. We could do a scripted show. Yeah, mm. and cast someone else. So As we don't you. look. Well, our, look, no guys, guys, look just, at this. But also remember, we have to play it cool, okay? Remember, Marina Del Rey had those witch trials in what, the seventies. In the seventies, yeah. In the seventies, seems like they were well, late, to, late on the uptake. There, there was a whole series of uh, of beachside condos where there were some sacrificial murders. Oh, yes. okay. and so they had to. They had, somebody's scalp had to roll. It wasn't the right people. Right? No, 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 no. They really keep that hidden. We don't learn about that in history. No, that wouldn't be an appropriate thing to learn about during U.S. history. Was it like an offshoot of, who's that other guy who was murdering all those pretty girls? Manson? Yeah. Was it like Marina Del Rey's version? Copycat version? That's how they presented it in the news. Right, right. They said some hippies on LSD uh, overdosed. But really, you're saying that it was a witch hunt and people were, you know, seeing mm-hmm. if they floated and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes. A lot of drownings. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen again because you know they're coming for me. They always come for the strong women like Winona Ryder. Don't you ever <gasps> think to- what? what? She starred in The Crucible. Remember that? She and Daniel Day-Lewis got yeah. real She was an actress in the movie, The Crucible. She was a, she's a yes. witch. She's a real life witch. Was it the Crucible she was in, That's or was right. it the Scarlet Letter? It was the Crucible. Okay. Daniel Day Lewis is all but Crucible. But she, I wouldn't say like if I'm thinking of a strong woman, I don't go straight to Winona, right? She had her Girl. pussy had magic powers in the Crucible. That's what that story was about. I don't think I'm gonna so. say Beetlejuice. She really Beetlejuice. Yes. Yeah, that was good. She showed. She showed. Wasn't she also in Edward Scissorhands? Yeah. Why and then everybody? has had a resurgence in uh, Stranger Things. <laughs> yeah. Good yeah, for her. she was good i don't little care. women little I know, women. people got phenomenal yes she just wants to steal a little who doesn't steal well I, you know i want to actually get into well first we're going to do what's cheesing, what's cheesing you, you and then i do want you to help me marinetta about what i should be focusing on and if i'm going to graduate this year it's worked so far but we're not out yet I want to know. So, Mary, now, this is a segment called What's Cheesing You? Just something that's bothering you. Uh Could be as simple as you got a parking ticket last week or as big as, you know, people telling you what you should do with the rest of your life, that Mm -hmm. kind of thing. What's cheesing you? What's cheesing you? What? What? What's cheesing you? What's cheesing you? What's cheesing you? What's cheesing you? Oh, no! Cheesing you! Was you just speaking in tongues? Yeah. Oh my god. Now Marinetta, you were not shocked by her screaming cuz you knew it was going to happen, is yes, that right? Of course, that's correct. Cuz that's the first guest that has not been shocked at all by her yeah. screaming. I was I was shocked. I was unsurprised. Unsurprised by that. Do you notice my eyes went milky white? That's right. Like you were going to fall asleep. Um, all right, so, uh, Marinetta, do you have something that's cheesing you? Would oh, you like yes, to go first? I am very mad about something. Okay, I can't wait to hear it. I'm mad at my husband, Harry. You have a husband? A, yes. hu- a human husband or yes, someone he's that you've been? normal human. Oh. He's from Santa Clarita. Oh, and he's always driving you nuts. He drives me crazy. What does he do? He's lazy. He's not working. You're pulling in most of the oh most of the God. money. Lady girlfriends, mamas, let me tell you. He all the time he's not working yeah. because he's trying to get on Shark Tank. What's his idea? Oh my god, they're so stupid, his ideas. His first idea is Lady Hammer. Uh huh. Uh, uh, like Hammer a, for Lady. Like a pin- Well, that's not a bad idea. They already have that. Moving on. Next up. They o- do? Ne- yeah, they have a whole like pink. Like it's a breast cancer tools. awareness, oh pink God. set of tools well, just like for that. a lady. And I told him that. I said, it's already a thing, Harry. Yeah. And he say, but this one has a tampon on the bottom. Well, the, now hold on. Uh-huh. If you have a heavy flow day and you don't have time to get to the bathroom and but you're But what if you con- have your period and you need to hammer something into a wall? What do you mean? Well, yeah, then you, you take out- tampon. Well, it's attached to the bottom of the hammer. It's yeah, it's just exposed to the air for hours and oh, hours. Okay, that won't it's work. It's not wrapped either. Is it replaceable? It's just <laughs> no. He one... says it should not be wrapped, so it's ready to go. 
No, you don't want to get a bunch mm. of dust up your head. You know, I think here's the problem is at some point a woman just made a bunch of like sticky hangers uh-huh. and became one of the richest people in the whole world. In fact, Jennifer Lawrence played her in a film. And so everybody got the idea That's that they could be an see. inventor. Right? Mm, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll just make something that already was invented a little different and yes. then I'll be a genius. Exactly. Right? right? So we'll put a tampon on the bottom of a hammer. Right. We'll put but some you, fuzzy You know what? On I want to hear hanger. somebody who invented a hammer. That's something I, I would in- invest in. Or Well, you spanks. may know them in that cave. Yeah, I do know who invented the uh, hammer. Actually, he was um really, uh, you know, like hot, stupid guys? Yes. He was like, a, yes. And oh man, but he was one of those stupid guys who was like, you are fucking stupid. And but then you he became a billionaire. Good. Yes, yeah. he just fucked Well, because he would be like, ding dong, like, I heard you need help, you yes. know, like hanging a shelf. And then it's bounce, it goes Oh bounce, my bounce. God. My a lot fucking, of shelves going up in your cave. My pel- <laughs> oh, yes. My pelvis fucking hurt for days after that. Wow. I'd love to find one of those guys. I want to see if you see love in my future. That's another mm, thing because. You've had long future, yeah. Do I? Oh my God, you've lived so many lives. Don't you feel it already? Yes, I'm exhausted. I mean, I honestly don't know how old I am. I think you and I share that. Yes, my stupid husband have more inventions. What are what are they? He made he want to make a thing called Game Man. Ga- like and a s- Game Boy? Yes. It's already but done. For a grown up. But for a grown but up. For grown up. But grown ups are already playing those Game Boys. He connect a, um, a Magnavox TV uh-huh. to a Game Boy. Uh-huh. He's a strong for Game Man. Huh. That's tough. This He's guy- fucking stupid. Now, and why are you. And keep- he can't even fuck that good. Why are you staying with him? I when you know. know, a lot of people say, you know what, life is short. And I love this person. I'll just wait it out. But you know you may have eternity. Why not move on? Well, in your life, maybe it's a short thing, right? If this guy's only probably going to live to be about 87 That's or something. Yes. Or how, you know how long he's so going to live. Him out. So you're just kind of biding your time. He has five years left. And oh, does he know that? Now no. he does. Well, no, now if he, he listens does. to this, he will know. But he's good for me. In yeah. other ways. Yeah, emotional support, that emotional kind of thing. Emotional support. And it's just like the small things he's really good at. Yeah, remembering like for your birthday. Instance, or... Yeah, he, you know what he does? He plugs in my phone at night. Like, you know what? very it's the little You know what I mean? It's the little And sometimes things. Um, he does this thing where he, like, cooks me, cooks me a toothbrush. What's that? What you is- know, he's like, oh, I'm, he pretends to be cooking a toothbrush, but he puts toothpaste on oh, it. Oh, that's very he, sweet. That's, you know, that's what that's I need to be looking shit. for. That's cute as shit. That's what yeah, I need to be looking cute. for is somebody who's going to take care of me, you know, in yes. those tiny ways. I mean, gutters, there was a lot of drama mm. and a lot of, you know, passion. Mm-hmm. But when it comes down to it, I can't depend on him. No, and then they say stupid... I just can't. And then my husband' newest thing is mu- much up. What's much up? <laughs> it's a mustard and ketchup mixed together. That sounds good. That, that's Thousand Island, guys. Is oh, that shit. Thousand that's Island? Russian dressing, right there. Pretty much. I thought Thousand Island was like relish and something. No, else. that's no. that's mayo. You got mayo in there, right? I don't. You're telling know. me right now I could go home and make mustard and put mustard and ketchup together. I have my very own that Thousand Island. That well, can't be true. That cannot be true. <laughs> it can't be. And I'm In fucking my house, crazy. That's how it goes. <laughs> I'm fucking crazy. I think crazy, everybody has and their own I know that can't be true. Thousand Island dressing. But I don't First of all, why do they call it a Thousand Island? It's Anybody? From the Thousand Islands. It's probably a, a archipelago somewhere in the Fiji area. <laughs> Anybody write in? Why the fuck have I been giving my money to Hidden Valley? If I could be making that shit myself. There's no way. There's like, okay, there's like, is there like relish in Thousand Island? Yeah! There's like some sweet relish in that, bitch! It's not chunky. Sometimes there's like little weird things in there. Sometimes they're putting it in a blender, but they're getting any special sauce that you get at a restaurant is a combo of already three existing sauces: mayo, mustard, ketchup. You know, a lot of crazy things have been said on this podcast today, and that, my friend, is the craziest. I do not believe that. Yeah, because like you don't believe what when you eat a hot dog with mustard and ketchup, you're not like, oh, this is transported to the to the fucking tropics. I'm going to Google it on our break, and I'll come back Can't to you. Can't wait. Okay, I hope when you Google it, Google says, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah.
<laughs> Maybe it will. Uh, what's cheesing you, Liz? You got anything? Uh, no. You're doing pretty good. I feel pretty good today. You're not feeling <laughs> at all angry that Kareem came to see a psychic and didn't ask anything Mm-mm. just to, to cast you away from him? Listen, that didn't I, bother you? Uh, it honestly gives me a little bit of closure. Really? Yeah. To know that he's not pining for you because that was that's something not what, you were wondering. That's not what was said. He said he, he uh, an incantation yeah. to push me away, basically. Right. right. Very eternal sun sign. You know, like he was he like, I have to. You. Yeah, I have to move away. Mm-hmm. To cast so. me away, to cast my spirit away from him. Because I was holding on. And how Were long you? and how long did I wait for him? I waited before I knew there was a family. I waited after. And that's my pattern is that I'm choosing men that are not really available. That's right. Mm. Even though he presented himself as very available mm. and fucked me so many times in that tiny little glass, oh, you know, bulletproof glass booth at the 7-Eleven. So why the booth? Why was that? It was it the like, close access to Charleston shoes? Was it if no? You it was a just break? I think the the idea <laughs> that we could at any minute be seen. Someone could was, look up because you know I don't know if you ever you go to a gas station or Seven Eleven. You can't a see lot what's of times underneath. A lot of times people get their gas and they never look up. That's right. right. Mm-hmm. That's they don't right. ever look at the people who are there. Wow. Yeah. And so there's something. I mean, I I can't tell you how many people I stared at, just yeah. stared at the back of their heads as I was getting it, <sighs> just like un- all right, 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 all right. Could you tell when people were like putting the wrong kind of gas in their car? Oh, all the time. Kareem thought, <laughs> Kareem, Kareem thought that was so funny. <laughs> Because there'd be like somebody would drive up driving clearly a diesel vehicle, and they would oh put boy. in the yeah in Do the wrong you really kind of need gas to get. The, the Supreme? Is that really making any kind I of a difference? I don't know. They say on certain vehicles. Never like a, get the Supreme, guys. It's stupid. Supreme is just ketchup mixed with mustard. That's really? it. That's it. Wow. You crazy. Yeah. A lot of life lessons. I, I don't know if I should ask this, but, um, you know, would you ever want to rekindle things with Kareem? No. Why? 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 Because we could do a spell here today? No. I just need the vulva of a rabbit. What I could get you that I could you definitely can? get you that yeah Look, how would you get that I'll go to the fucking pet store buy one if you wanted that and I'd you cut would the cut vagina the vol- out of a rabbit if if you he wanted didn't say that vagina he said vulva. vulva it's two different things it is yes oh I need to get a hand mirror and a peach colored crayon and start finding out start labeling things do you want me to get that rabbit I do it. Why do you own this? <laughs> this capo because I because I trained in capoeira for many years. Oh, okay. That's like a little like a large I feel like, ro- rodent, right? Yes. A capoeira rat. If you got a Pete's color crayon, would you? Would, wouldn't you not be able to discern yeah, right. what you're writing? I gotta do shades, shading it. Right. I gotta shade it. Yes. It, this this has similar tones from where you're from, correct? Even though it's Bra- it's Brazilian, does it feel um, similar? I, if I'm being honest, it's kind of far. It's kind of far. Not at all. At, no, like, it's kind of far. Like like the where the place I come from is a place of Romas. Uh, there are many Romas. The word we can no longer say is gypsy. Gypsy. So I often refer to myself as an Eastern European mystic. Okay. I see. Uh, it's more inclusive, they say. Right. Cultural been, relativity and all. So that. this music doesn't do anything for you. Um, it does remind me of my summers in Rio. Oh, okay. Well, okay. That's I can't good. wait to get into that. Yes. Um, we're going to be back with more of Mystic Marinetta Papa Himona. That's right. She's going to read both of our palms and tell us what we have in store for us for this year and beyond. And uh, we're going to answer your questions in Listener's Love Lockdown. Stay with us. Oh, okay. Wow, you just roundhoused me. You almost roundhoused me. Welcome back to Womp It Up. We're diving right into a segment we call Yeah! yeah. Listler's wow. Love Lockdown. 
You guys have been writing us at Womp Up the Jams with a Z at gmail.com. Some of you sent me messages on Instagram. Wow, some DMs? That's okay. I found it, but I prefer an email. Okay. Just so okay. I can keep it. I'm a very organized person. Yeah. And I just want to keep it all in one place and make sure that I get back to all the people um, that need us. That need us. Um, and, you know, this is in, this is great because we've got uh, Eastern European psychic, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Marinetta Papachimona, who's also going to weigh in. And this is for free. So people who we've selected, their questions are going to get some really intense advice. Um, yeah. And that's for free. They don't have to pay for it. Amazing. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Hi, uh, Marissa and Shardog. I'm sure you get a lot of messages, but I'm in a dilemma and I'm hoping you may be able to help. I've been a long time listener of Womp It Up and you guys have become a favorite pick me up. A few months back, I started talking to a guy I met online. He is super sweet. And for the first time, I feel like I'm talking to someone I actually connect with. Like that. The only hitch is that he is in the separated from him. He is in the separated from his wife. Okay. Oh, I guess he's in the separation phase. Okay. He's separated. Sure. Yeah. And they have a 15-month-old daughter. Okay. None of those things bother me, but being the child of divorce mm. and never having been on a date or been in a relationship before, I worry that it's not the right thing to do. We are both busy people being working adults and full-time students and only recently found a gap in schedules to finally meet. Something in me is saying, don't do it. I'm worried he'll realize that I'm not experienced oh. and think we are in different places in our lives. Don't feel like you have to reply, but typing it out has helped a lot. Keep it hashtag authentic. Oh boy. So I'm hearing a lot of things in this yeah i'm hearing fear that you guys are not well matched i'm hearing fear that you have never been in a relationship before and so that you're going to be judged for that uh it seems to me that you have found a connection and this is the first time that you've put yourself out there and really found a connection and that's worth something yes i'm now hitting. yeah i th- Go ahead. I just, I, you know, the first thing I heard, which is something I think we all relate with, is the, I hear a little bit of a self-saboteur. That's right. Like, I'm going to cut this off before right. this person could hurt me. And hey, we can all relate. We've yeah. all been there. We've all been our own worst enemy. And I, uh, my, so my gut says, hey, uh, mama, you got to put yourself out there. And What's you ha- the worst thing that can happen? Oh, right. Right? Right. It it doesn't work out. Okay. Well, you won't be worse off than you are now Mm -hmm. because if we don't try, we will have to live with regret. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. You, uh, what is that saying? You lose a hundred percent of the things you don't try for. Yes. Like the risks you don't take. Yeah. Mm. You know, you got to take a risk. And look, we all understand it's very challenging. I hang out drag queens and they say a lot of things like you, if you don't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love someone else? And I feel this feels like a moment where they, this person just needs to trust themselves, love mm-hmm. themselves, and perhaps open themselves up to the opportunity of love. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This feels right. That feels right to me. You know? Yeah. I guess because it's the first It seems like it's her first relationship ever. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering how old she is. Mm -hmm. Uh, It does feel a little tricky for me to get into a relationship with a man that has a 15-month-old with someone that he is not currently divorced from yet. Mm. Well, they're not getting married. I mean, it's not like they're just meeting up. I mean, people get separated, right? Uh Because legally you have to be like in california i think you have to be separated for a year or something before you are able to divorce but like this is the only guy she has ever felt a connection with Mm. well maybe there's a safety in knowing that he isn't completely available maybe you're choosing him because because he's got these other things right like i i don't know i mean i'm just saying like there if there's a world for you to keep it open, go on other dates. Well, sure. Uh, like uh, try that out. Be open to other things. I, I'm not saying we're going to jump on the first boat that comes our way, but you know, you're always a little more skeptical of people, a little more suspicious, listener, which I think is good, right? Mm-hmm. I'm always jumping in 
uh, head first and then realizing, uh oh, you know, that wasn't the right person to trust. But you know what I was thinking when I was listening to this letter? She's saying, I'm a child of divorce and I don't want to do the wrong, the wrong thing. And I'm All thinking right. to myself, what if these two are soulmates? Yeah. Okay. What if they connect? They have a really wonderful relationship. What better person to be the stepmother, let's say, if I'm taking this far, far, far in the right. future, to this child than somebody who knows what that's been like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, and can be sensitive to that right. situation. And, sorry to yeah. cut you off, but may I add, like, I had some of, I've, uh, we've all had these in- insecurities about ourselves. For instance, me and Harry, I, early on in our relationship, I shared with him, I feel less than, I feel weird, you know, I'm thousands You're of years dead. old. Yeah, exactly. And when I shared these things that I thought were my weakness, he said to me, I love that you're able to be vulnerable in that way. That mm-hmm. makes me love you more. Mm-hmm. That you are able to share something that makes you a real person. Do you think this 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 uh, wompster should share that before they meet? To Not say, before they no. meet, but I think it's okay to... Um, be real or vulnerable Hashtag with this person. authentic. And when you're seeing them say, hey, you know, I was really nervous about this. Yes. It also sounds to me, though, like they've only met once, one time. I don't know if they've ever met. No, She's they have. They found making... a gap in their schedule to meet. I think to meet, like they haven't uh-huh. met yet. Uh-huh. That's why she's like, should I cut this off? Should I not meet him? And I say, absolutely, you have to follow this. Yeah, you have to why meet does she have? Why is it so like, do it now. We've got to find love right now with this guy who's in the middle of the biggest change of his life. No. Well, she should meet him in person to see if they have physical chemistry. Because but if isn't they that don't, chemistry going to be there in a year? But she could be shutting herself off to other opportunities if she, I think, yes, n- now, do it right now. What do you what mean? Is, if she shuts herself? What does Van Halen say? Right now, it's I don't want to live my life by the guy who covered for the greatest lead singer of Van Halen. You know, one thing I will share that I think is real is like, um, you know how like texting can create a strange sense of intimacy? Yes. Like, and I think sometimes if you get in a loop of texting for so long. Yeah, you got to meet the person. You have to meet the person or else then you get stuck in the intimacy that's, that's only not real. in the text. Is, it's not real. So I think that's something of like, don't get stuck in the phone but relationship. I'm, here's the other thing. If I'm a guy, yeah. I have a 15-month-old baby. Yes. I am not yet divorced from my wife and I'm going on dates with people? That seems weird to me. What's his rush? Like, take that. some fucking time for yourself, dude. Don't get in involved with a co-ed Fergie's who's probably time. several years younger than you. Fergie's taking her time. Did you know that? Josh Dumel went on a date. You know, they're divorced. They have a five year, four-year-old. Yes. And she's taking her time. People are saying, when are you going to get back out there? She said, it's not time for that. I've got, she's mother. got one gig a year. Rocket New Year's Eve. <laughs> And the rest of the year, she's taking time for herself. I did it. I'm. This is this is the truth. I mean, this is the did truth you hear of that? Fergie's life. Did to be able to rock a anthem? short short like that and a heel at that age. Yes, I'm not. I'm God not throwing bless. shade. I'm saying, like, take that time, bitch. Three sixty four. And in her defense, you know when she sang so the national anthem. On- I'm not. Remember when she sounded all crazy when she was singing the national anthem? Remember? I don't remember I didn't that. See I that clip. She sounded Google crazy. It. So many people. Oh, that's a very that hard song to sing. That was on me. I have to say that Why was, was on me. Why was that on you? Were you p- pulling the strings there? I was a uh, Christina Agliera. Tell oh, me. Oh, you did a spell on her. Yes, because she asked me. Uh, oh. She was mad at Fergie. For trying to do the same show and anthem she had done, she asked me to curse her voice. That's not and right. And that's an easy spell. Mm. So I had to do it. That's yeah. not right. I feel bad, but, you know, she paid good. You co-wrote Genie in a Bottle, is that correct? Yes. I would, I directly inspired by me. And why do you think One that's her favorite song? Why do you think that's her biggest banger? Exactly. Huh? Everything else is like my reflection. I'm sad. Listen, you're telling me dirty. You're responsible for <laughs> Big Bang Theory and Genie in a Bottle. I mean, that's like the hits keep coming. You Thank gotta you. rub me the right way. I can't way. take. I can't take responsibility for dirty. But you've been working with Cher. Is that correct? Oh, she yes. is undead.
Okay. Yes, if you believe in life after love. That's right. It's about the afterlife, it's baby. It's about the afterlife, baby. Okay, let me read if our next question. If you look that good in assless chaps, I it's guess spooky. here's what I'll say. Good. Here's what I'll we say. We have done nothing have, but give her com- We've given her conflicting advice. Whatever you feel when you listen to this and that that thing feels right to you, that is the right thing. You can't right. lose. You got to trust it. What's trust the, yourself. Again, what's the worst thing that can happen? This is just our uh, completely unprofessional advice to you. Correct. All right, here's our next question. Let's Char dog, do a Marissa. better job. My ex-girlfriend and I broke up about a year ago because we were at different points in our lives. In a few months, I was going to graduate college. She was going to transfer to Boston for college. Okay. We we're both from the same hometown in Ohio and did a lot of community theater together. Recently, I can't stop thinking about our relationship. Mm. I tried to get back together with her a few months after the breakup, but she thought it was a mistake, which was her right to do. I hold no resentment or ill will towards my ex, and we still talk every so often. I realize it's crazy for me to still have feelings for her after so long, and sadly, a part of me wishes we never broke up. We dated for about a year and a half, and there were a lot of mistakes in the relationship I made, which I now wish I could fix. The romantic part of me wants to tell her how I've grown as a person, but the logical part of me knows that I do more harm than good. I'm a pretty sociable person, but I struggle finding a person to be in a relationship with. Sorry if I'm rambling. But I just have these constant feelings of regret and shame for messing up this relationship. If you have any advice about dealing with a breakup, moving on, or anything in particular, I would greatly appreciate it. I also love the show and what you guys do. I'm interested to see if you and I fall on different lines, Liz. Okay. What do you think I'm going to say? <laughs> I'm going to tell you what I think you're going to say. And then you uh, tell me what I'm... First, you tell me... that is going to be helpful to this person. <laughs> you tell me what you think I'm going to say. Tell me. That it could be true love and that, that that's exactly right. That he that what, she he needs to go find her. What is what is he gonna lose by pulling a Notting Hill? Nobody wants your sorries, okay? This <sighs> bitch has moved the fuck on. Mm-hmm. She's got a great life. She puts up with your calls every couple months. Like, uh, you know, we did care for each other, but Why are that, you you're not throwing shade. You're not on my this listener. We don't know whose not fault it was. My, you're not in my life anymore. I don't even know if you guys live in the same town. In Notting you need Hill, to move the fuck Julia on. Roberts makes a lot of on. mistakes, okay? It was One a year and a half was wearing college. those braids, no, no, no. which Listen we thought were so good at the time. And they still are. They aren't. Okay, yes, they are. She wore a kimono top with those braids, okay? And she should have. And, and it she was on have. trend. My point, it's not timeless. My point is, is timeless. she shows up in that bookstore and she says, I'm sorry. That and I'm wasn't just a girl a year, standing it, in no. front of a boy asking bullshit, him bullshit. to love her. Bullshit. Here, well, here's another thing I will say. Here's another thing. Um, like, remember, like, in those years of your life that they are talking about, you change so much. Yes, your brain so isn't much. even for, stopped forming by the exactly. time you're 25. Right. Thank you, Dr. Phil. And I, I'm not the same person I was when, when I was, was 20. That was a very long time ago. That it was 4,000 years ago. And you were probably ago. a full-on dead person by the time right. you got to this age. Right. <clears throat> but a lot of that formation happened sometime between 20 to get 30. Get in formation, yeah. Get, I had to get in formation. And I just worry that you are romanticizing that past love. Fine, uh, maybe he is. Maybe he's going to find that out when he goes to her and says, No, 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 no. What is know. to be lost? But like, don't you think? That, okay, I agree, I agree with both of you, which is very complicated. But I, I, don't you think it's there's complicated? So- Thank you, Nancy Myers. <laughs> don't you think Thank there's you, something Demi to Lovato. be said for like? Uh, you are going to continue to evolve as a person, mm-hmm, trying mm-hmm. to keep that relationship that was alive with your younger self. Uh, may be ultimately. Uh, He'll find out when. Fine, he goes to her. He says, I still have these feelings. Let's try it. They have great sex. What's the worst thing that can happen is, again, it doesn't work out. Okay, then he has to live with no regrets. Honestly, yes. Because I broke up with and redated Mussolini. And it was hot as shit, right? It was hot, but then... That guy was straight evil. he's bad. That yes. guy was yes. straight evil. all dated yes. bad guys. No. But the second no. time solidified it for me. After and the now, second no time, regrets. I was like, you know what? You're no. a fascist. I need to move on. Why did you need to have that second time? You because could have been with 
anybody else. Not everybody's like you, Listler. I, Not everybody can just shut down their emotions and say, I don't feel bad that I found out Kareem set a spell on me I didn't to cast say that. me out. I went through a period of extreme grief about that relationship. Yes. He screwed me over. And if Kareem and came back and said, I, would be, I want you back, what would you do? I would say, I'm sorry. I am not the person who wants to be with you right now. I am in a different place in my life. All I That's need, just me. I just need a rabbit vulva. I am telling I'll you. I'll get it for you. I don't That's all I need. want it. Okay. What about all those rabbits? They're taking those relationships. To put in here's, <laughs> here's what it was, okay? You made mistakes. She made mistakes. You were 20 years old. Let it go. Don't carry that shit around. You fuck up. I know I did <laughs> shit when I, if I did, if I said that I didn't overthink and rethink all the ways that I drove Kareem away, if I had just done this one thing differently, he would still want to be with me, I would be lying because I definitely did that. Yes. But the further I got away from it, I said, you know what? That w- that served its purpose in my life. And I am not meant to be with that man. Buy a ticket on a Greyhound bus. He has make a mix another tape. family. And this girl, whoever she Who is. Who has another family? Kareem does. Oh, I wasn't talking about Kareem, but that's interesting. Do you, do you ever go back to watch a, a watch a movie from your childhood, and you're like, yes, "Oh, Notting you... Hill." She's just it's talking about it. It's a great film. But like, sometimes you go back to watch a Which movie from childhood your childhood. Are you talking about? Because I didn't know there were films back in BC. <laughs> He's I'll talking about the fucking cave paintings they used to this do. This is a little strange, but I'll say like. I used to I watched this movie uh, about the Ewoks in the 80s. Star Wars? Not Star Wars. Return they, of the Jedi? They, no, there was an offshoot that was just no. the Ewok movies. That's yes, not right. There is. That's not right. Yes, there not is. the one where they Don't come for the... my gig. <laughs> Don't, Ewok that's village. Don't come right. for me. Okay, not the one with the Ewok village, right? There was one with this weird Ewok village. Anyway, I loved it in the 80s. It didn't I didn't hold go up. Go back to watch it. It was fucking dog shit. Fine, but now you know. Don't pop that in unless you're extremely high. Okay, that's what I'm saying, though. Maybe, you know, you can go try it, but you might go back to it and go, oh, this is fucking stupid. Am I right or wrong? Are we you are looking at this up? We are giving terrible advice today. No, we're not. No. We're giving our Options. own opinion. Options. We're giving our own opinion. I want, I want you to promise me this. Let go of the things that you messed up. Fine. They did not ruin your that. life. You are not unhappy in your life right now because you're not with this person. You are unhappy for all the other myriad reasons yes. in your life. Those things will follow you, whether you're with her, whether you're with someone else. If you are feeling down and regretful, make a choice, take an action, go to therapy, take care of yourself. And if you and still if you miss run her, in, oh my God, then run to her. And I'll say, I want to run to you. I hope you dance. Um, I will just say, when you are with that person, make sure that you are enjoying that moment, not reminiscing about the past. Sure. I agree. Hey, can this person please update us? If you decide to take my advice, which I hope you do, can you please update us on whether or not it worked out? (laughs) Don't put that pressure on them. Why you don't believe in love? You telling me you've got males and based on a true story? What? You telling me that isn't this story? That isn't this story. There's no bookstores involved. You know why this story wasn't made into a movie about an, a year and a half college relationship that where they reconnected? It's called three High years Fidelity, later, bitch. Three years later, because that would be the most fucking boring movie we've ever seen in our lives. Because everybody does Not that. If you put Jennifer they have Lawrence a relation- in it. Oh my god. You know now, what, Hunger Games? If this person wants me to do a. Well, or a can spell. you do a spell that makes somebody fall we in have love to, with them? We, you know what we have? Yes. We have two minutes. We have two minutes for you to read palms, spotlight on. Oh all my that god! Shit. Okay, so we're gonna do okay. that right now. All right, hold on one second. I've got so much cream cheese inside of the cracks in my. Hold on. That's anyone not have a wet out. wipe? That's years of abuse right there. Does anybody have a wet it's wipe? It's okay. I can still read it okay, with all okay. this residue. Oh god, it smells like fucking dick. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wow, you have lived many lives. Okay, you probably say that to everybody. No, no. You know who I did not say that to? Sandra Bullock? Yes. 
She's lived one life and you can like totally tell. Okay, let's see Looking here. Looking great though, doing it. Wow. You will experience many beautiful things in your future. Really? Like what? You will fall in love. With a new person or the old person? With a new person. You will join AmeriCorps. What? I hate digging ditches. That's not everything they do. They do other lots of lots of other things. You will be a public school teacher in Guam. Oh, oh. this is horrible. You will get stung by a jellyfish, and the medical student who helps you will become your new love. Oh, that's kind of hot. He will have a very thin, long dick. Okay, p- shut this down. I'm not. I'm not paying for this shit. <laughs> no. Uh, you don't want to know what else? No, I'd rather if you can get me a potion to make gutter balls fall back in love with me, then I'm interested. All right, read mine. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, yes. It okay. is so good to see Feels so many nice beautiful things. Touch. You will become a cat lady. Yes, I you already are. I already am, actually. It will become more severe. How, How can it? She has you, 96 cats. Lact, she's lactating now. It's you will, cat army. <laughs> you will lobby to create your own municipality within the city limits of Marina del Rey. I like that. You like will, a Monaco type situation? Exactly. We'll call it Whistler Land. Kind of like Vatican City. Okay. It's like Marina del Rey, but it's not. Hmm. You will uh, connect... With many people after your win on how to be smarter than a fifth grader. I'm going to be on the fifth grader now. <laughs> yes, you're going to. Remember you won. You're going to win in a couple years. This I thought she was going to win. No, you. Oh. I wish you? we had done these readings at the beginning of the podcast because I would have said you are full of shit. What's the podcast? Marinetta. <laughs> What's the podcast? <laughs> Fuck you, Whistler. You will get stuck in an elevator. Uh, Marinetta? What? Time for Spotlight on Bitch. Okay. Cue the music. Oh, okay. A different music? Cue the music. Just a moment. Le- What's Just this one moment. again? This is where we peel back the layers of Marinetta to find out what fucking fraud is underneath. <sighs> you throw shade at Teresa Caputo? Uh? Who is the real deal? Oh, please. Because all you are is an old fat lady who Whoa. likes to sit in the sun hey. and munch on bugles. You are full wow. of shit. Women attacking women. Cool, cool, cool. How dare you take money from poor people who want and rich people. some guidance. Some guidance. And instead you just make shit up. Uh, uh, no, I am not. This is not true. Just admit it, Marinetta. You admit it. Are a monster. You're no, you're the monster. You are worse than Attila the Hun. I'm gonna do a very nasty Yelp review unless you admit right now that you are full of shit. Marinetta, no. what, what are you hiding from? Nothing. Show her. Show her your true self. What are you hiding from? I. You have given me no choice. What? I must show you my true form. Oh my God. Aremanemus, <laughs> Dominus. Dame dachte, Ariatos, Marianetta. Ah! It's like, what is that? Ah! Yeah. Ah! Zip her back up! Zip her back up! Okay, I believe you, I believe you! Zip her back up! Zip her back up! Zip her back up! Zip her back up! Okay! Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> That's what you get for trying to come for my gig. That was terrifying. I'm so sorry. I believe in you. (sighs) Can you believe I have the spirit of that many ghost children in my body? No. Um, Reverse trigger warning for anybody who is afraid of the undead or or has seen Men in Black when that tiny little alien head comes out of that... That's that the scariest guy. thing that you could reference because you haven't seen anything really, truly scary. That is as scary as that was. Do not listen to this podcast. That was not <laughs> scary. Come on, still, you're, no, you're used to it. If you and are a fan I'm, of Sandra I'm, Bullock, do not listen to this podcast. Oh, come on. Wasn't that just Monk? <laughs> what? That? <laughs> that actor was Monk, right? Oh, if, Tony Salud? Tony Salud. I love Tony. Come on, he's great. All right, you come to my place. Wrap it up. 
Thanks for listening. Send us emails at wompupthejams with a Z at gmail.com. Turn around and live your hashtag authentic life. Womp it up. Womp it up. Womp it up a little more. Get the Hey, this is Arnie from the comedy podcast Hello from the Magic Tavern, a chat show I host from the magical land of Foon with my co-hosts Usador, the Blue Wizard and Chunt, the Shapeshifter. Most weeks we interview adventurers, wedding planners, ambulatory trees. But this week we have a special episode. I am so excited to learn about the Earth lore contained in Pride and Prejudice. We're going to do a book club of Pride and Prejudice. And you say this is a well-loved book on Earth, right? Yeah, it's one of those books that people love or were forced to read or more likely it's one of those I'm gonna get to it. And some of our most beloved guests are returning to read the book with us and enjoy some drinks and food over book club. We have Flower, we have Crom the Barbarian, and Germ. You know who they are. Maybe you don't give a crap about what an academic thinks about Jane Austen, but don't you want to know what a wizard and a badger think about it? Not enough spells. Not enough grubs. Not, Not enough, enough sword fights. fights. Whether you love Pride and Prejudice or have no interest in reading it and just want to listen to a book club go really off the rails, you'll enjoy this week's Hello from the Magic Tavern. We shall defeat this book!